Hey everyone, Joel Anser, and today, guys, we are outside Therapy, yes, Therapy, which is a happening, happening nightclub, a happening brunch spot, guys. They have a DJ playing right now. It's been a great night last night, and now I'm gonna try one of Las Vegas' best brunch spots. So, Therapy is offering a scratch kitchen, guys. Obviously, a really happening spot. This place is lit right now, so let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. They got some real awesome specialty items, it's like a chicken and waffles, where the waffles made with tater tots, which sounds fantastic. Fantastic. They also have tacos, they have these giant burgers they're doing called a zoo burger, they have poke, they have all my favorites. So I'm so excited to go try it out guys. So I'm gonna go on in and say, hey, just give me the best items. Like, what do I need to try? What do I need to try at therapy to like really have that full experience? You know what I'm saying? So let's head it in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food. And uh, I'm excited guys, Las Vegas' best brunch spot. Let's go eat. Hi everyone, so we're here with all the food. I am so, 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 so excited guys. Like I said, one of the best brunches in Las Vegas and right off Fremont, which is so convenient after you had a late night out and you stayed at one of the neighboring uh, hotels or into Orconcitos. So, like I said guys, um, I basically was just like, what do I need to encapsulate and experience therapy? And that's what they have in front of me today. So I know it's gonna be so delicious, guys. So to start us off, mm. I have their ahi tuna poke. I have the Mexican street corn bananas. So we're talking like a kind of a lote style thing. Then I have the atomic mushroom toast. Now this is a local kind of mushroom farm um, on the kind of like a you know, remix on a Benedict, which is awesome holiday sauce, looks fantastic. We have their new zoo burger, so it actually has Wagyu beef on it. It also has bison, we got an egg, it looks fantastic. I have a Hawaiian pork belly taco and a birria taco. And then I have their chicken and waffles. This is a signature chicken and waffles. Um, it actually is made with a tater tot, yes, a tater tot waffle. So that's super, super cool and unique. Uh, but yeah, like you can tell, this is a bumping spot, guys. I was here right at open. Like this is 11 a.m. on a Saturday, guys. Their brunch is popping. This place is so cool. They got a DJ that's blasting. So anyway, let's dive into this. I'm so excited to try some food. So let's us eat. I'm like right now, let's just eat. I'm, I'm pumped. The question is always where to start and I know where I'm going to start today. I'm going to start with this ahi uh, tuna, this poke. So we got some lovely looking tuna. I see some kind of Oh wow, like a mango chutney in there. Woo! A little bit of spicy mayonnaise. Mmm. Oh man. I got some taro here. Throw it on that. Get this bite, that crisp. I'm a big fan of like tuna. This place is popping, guys. You hear this music? I said this is on a Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm a big, big, big fan of this tuna. Hoka has awesome flavors. It is absolutely great on that taro, guys. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And it tastes better, too. All right, that was awesome. It's really loud in here, so I'm just gonna keep the, you know, straight to the point about all these items. But that was fantastic. I love that tuna. That was fantastic. I definitely recommend that poke. Next, I'm gonna hop over to this Zoo Burger, guys. The Zoo Burger looks amazing. We got all the beef, all the sauces on here, that egg. Man, this looks so, so, so juicy. This looks so good. Uh, this is not a bite. You cannot just bite this. Look how big that is. So I'm gonna cut into this burger. Oh man, just look at that beautiful cross section. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous burger. That looks amazing. Let's, uh, let's give this a go, guys. Cook perfectly, too. Wow. There's short rib on there. It's super rich. There's also a goat's cheese. Damn. That is like, that is just delicious, guys. So rich, so savory. You really get that wagyu, just that fat. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, that is a giant burger. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but this is a delicious burger, but it is loud in here. Happening spot, really cool. People have turned up their volume. But man, I gotta have that last bite. Great burger. Very, very good. And of course, we got some french fries, but... Actually, that's a good french fry. I wasn't sure what to expect, but... 
It's good, but let's try these other items before they get cold. Hi, everybody. We have this atomic mushroom toast. I think this is a great item to start with next. So it's kind of like a hollandaise sauce, mushrooms. Mind blown, guys. We got that runny yolk. Look at that just dripping. So rich, so savory. That is awesome. I gotta say, this was way better than I expected. I didn't know what to expect with mushrooms, but so, so, so good, guys. That's umami, that savoriness. I love it, that egg. Next, we're gonna try these tacos. I'll put some of their salsas on it. Salsa verde, salsa roja. This is a Hawaiian pork, guys. We got pineapple on there. We have this lovely sweetness. It is so, so, so delicious. We got salsa verde, such a nice touch. That is an amazing taco, guys. That is uh, like, wow, definitely a keeper. I love tacos, this is just perfect. Next we got the birria taco. I'm gonna throw some salsa rojo on that. But it looks fantastic, it's a really nice bite. It got that cheese on it. That salsa is delicious. Yeah, I love it, so fresh, guys. Seriously good taco, though. Like I said, that salsa is fantastic. All right, next we'll try the chicken and waffles. So we got a tater tot and bacon waffle. Yes, yeah, so the waffle's actually made of tater tots. And then we have the fried chicken, the buttermilk fried chicken. And their maple gravy, guys. It smells so, so, so good. It smells delicious. Cutting into the chicken, it is just so juicy. And that maple gravy. That looks like an amazing, amazing bite, everybody. That is fantastic. The waffle is sweet and savory. You get that tater tot, that lovely tater tot flavor. This chicken is just so soft, so tender. That is the best thing ever. This is the best, guys. Like, just like, I will lick this plate. That gravy is fantastic. That fried chicken is so, so, so good, everybody. That is just like, this is a keeper. Last, we have the Amexian Street Corn Benets. Elote, so it's like, a lovely looking deep fried benet. Look at this, look at this, this cross up guys. And we have a lovely crema to dip it in. It is very, very soft. You get the lime zest. And honestly, that's really good. Anyway guys, I'm glad I got to come by therapy here. Really cool spot. I'll do an intro outside as well in case you can't hear it, but I want to just eat through everything really quick. There's a lot of copyrighted music, so again, I kind of had to speed through a lot of parts. But guys, this is fantastic. I don't know if you could tell, but I was thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. My favorite items were absolutely that chicken and waffles, that tater tot bacon waffle. It just works. It is so, so, so good. And that maple gravy, oh my God, so, so, so good. Um, the uh, atomic mushroom uh, toast was also super cool. Again, pretty much like a Benedict, but a little bit more like a vegetarian version. The mushrooms are so cool. Again, coming from that local atomic mushroom grower. Um, we're about to get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, that being said, the Hawaiian pork taco is also just like out of this world. That like pineapple jam they have going with their addition of their house-made salsas was so, so, so good. Like those items blew me away. They were absolutely fantastic. Um, the ahi tuna, the poke was great. Um, so yeah, if you're like downtown Las Vegas area, Fremont area, um, I totally recommend stopping on by. Uh, literally, I was up till 5 a.m. last night and a little bit of brunch was well, well needed. And this was amazing. Amazing. So it was super awesome. Again, the place was a happening spot. You could party all night and just continue into the day. So uh, like I said, huge thanks to all the staff there. Really cool spot. Definitely recommend. And of course, till next time, guys, say happy health hungry, happy eating. And viva Las Vegas. Have a lovely day. And here's a very, I am in the Las Vegas slash Las Vegas strip view. I mean, just look at this. Neon lights and everything to be seen, guys. So, 
pretty dang cool. I caught uh, a very expensive sweater at a concert, but it's well worth it. But yeah, just like you can't beat this, this like, this is just Las Vegas at its best. So we're gonna go check out actually uh, Denny's because Denny's is all neon, and but everything's neon. I mean, look, look, the Hard Rock and Coke World and everything. So Las Vegas. Some more sights of the strips. I mean, look at the size of the, this, you know, sign. Sugar Factory. We have a Taco Bell all lit up down here, which people get married at. Of course, McDonald's, Sugar Factory, guys. And the funny thing is you look just off the strip and it's a lot more, you know, less uh, less crazy. And then you look on the strip and it's pretty crazy. Well, nightclub is closed. Here we are on the strips, guys. Some horses, more sights. You see, we got a big P.F. Chang's. Got some signs for Gordon Ramsay's kitchens. We have the Bellagio. We'll see if we maybe get the fountains going off. We have the uh, the Marquee, the Cosmo. Got Caesars over there, guys. It is all the beautiful Las Vegas sights to be seen. The Strip is definitely very, very notable. We have piano. We have their great big flower garden, which we'll go see. And just a beautiful, beautiful decked out array of colors, of ceilings. Very gorgeous. Yes. Huge, right? 